All right, here we are in a beautiful Oceanside, California morning, looking at a very nice 1932 Ford Resto Rod. Very nicely done, all Henry Steel, Henry Steel components on it, Henry Steel fenders. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Uh, a lot of nice features and options on this car. It's finished in a... Uh, make sure you go to Spud's Garage and look at the still photos. Uh, it's finished in a kind of a teal, an ocean teal. It's a beautiful color. I know the camera might show it up a little bit green, but make sure you go look at the still photos. It's more towards the blue shade. Um, anyway, we know the history on this car. We actually sold it to this gentleman back in 2014. He's enjoyed it, you know, for about six years or so. Gave us a call. It's just time to move on here, but he's enjoyed it with a lot of shows and that kind of thing. This car has about 19,000 miles on it. It actually has been to do stays in Victoria, Canada. Victoria Deuce Days, that type of thing. It's the kind of car you can drive. It doesn't overheat. Has some really neat options like we mentioned just a second ago. Has full four-wheel independent suspension. It has Corvette uh, suspension in the rear. It has uh, Scott's IFS uh, with tubular control arms up front. It has rack and pinion power steering. Four-wheel disc brakes, all power. We walked around, we felt the fenders. This is just really nice Jenny body. We talked about it the last time we went through. There's no, I don't feel any brakes in the fenders. They're Henry steel. No modifications to it all. The windshield still cranks open. Uh, cal vent's still there, but it's been sealed because of the air conditioning on it. And we'll talk about that when we get around to the inside. The roof's not been filled or chopped. You look at the, uh, Rain gutters here, they're very nice. You can actually see the spotter pinch wells along here, which tells you this is a really nice car. Doesn't have a lot of excess feel on it, fill on it or anything like that. Has very nice powder coated uh, aluminum wheels, 17s in the front and the rear. So it gives the car, it actually the stance is just sweet on this one. These cars are getting pretty popular because people like to drive them. They like to be able to put passengers in this back seat, like grandkids, that kind of thing. This one's got a neat little feature on the back we're gonna to get to here in a minute. I don't know the exact age of the build. It's, you know, you could find it for a little few character flaws here and there, but overall it's a very nice car and a, and a professional quality paint job. You can see it's got some nice super fine line pinstriping on it. It's got a uh, bug shield to keep the bugs out of the radiator. Step back here a little bit, 1932 Ford for us, could be for you. All factory style trim and components, these are working cow lamps, so it's got deluxe cow lamps on it, they're actually turn signals, has a wiper up high here. This pinstriping follows all the way along the belt line here and it says 32 on the side here. These tires and wheels are only about three years old, so you don't have any tire issues or anything like that. The doors, I want to talk about the doors as I do this, but they're just so easy to shut. Thumb, a little bit on a hill here, we'll get you inside here. The door shut very nice. Nice body. Nice factory style dash, it has vintage air conditioning, it has an emergency brake down low here, it has a low car style shifter in it with lighted LED so you know where you're at, 200R4 automatic overdrive, underneath the hood, let me back up for a minute when I get to the finish showing the inside here, I forgot to cover that, I get rolling sometimes and I forget where I'm at. This is the kind of car you can drive, enjoy. Um, Little map pockets in the back of the seats here. Nice carpet. It's been fully ins insulated with boom insulation throughout the doors and the floor, that type of thing. Recently updated new carpet when they did the insulation. We'll shut this door again. Click. Underneath the hood here is a uh, Chevy 350 V8, uh, 330 horse crate engine, 200 R4 automatic overdrive, Corvette rear suspension like we talked about. Forward side of the fenders has the uh, 3M coating on it to keep it from getting all rock chipped up because you're going to drive this one. And goop tires. Step back and let's take a look on this side. Dual license plate so you can do your little favorite thing on one side and then the other side. Uh, uh, 
cruising your reunion participant in 2018 again this car has been all the way up to do stays out of Santa we sold it out of Santa Barbara it ended up here in Oceanside um, and uh, we were part of that sale and we're gonna be part of this one it's nice to have good 32 all steel cars like this and again two doors are getting a little tough to find this rear luggage compartment is really neat it was engineered by the prior owner named Frank anyway there's a lever here it slides out so, so this this tucks up nice against the body but it slides out we'll have a little video for you after just after this section of the video has LED tail lights on it has a third brake light right there these are uh, reverse lights I believe these are uh, LED lights too on the back here so you're really lit up at night nice license plate light on both Again, the stance on it is just right. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. Um, I'm going to have a lot of still photos of this car. Inside is a nice cloth, uh, pleated cloth. Two-tone style material. All the uh, window cranks and that kind of thing. The windows crank up and down very nice. All factory style hardware. Again, it retains that. It's a really a truly a resto rod. It's not been over modified body wise, but it's a uh, creature comfort loaded. That's for sure. Plenty of room to get in the back seat. Grandkids, that kind of thing. The battery's back. You can see the little carpet down there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you can, battery access is from the inside of the car. Easy to access. Has a tilt steering column, low car steering wheel, has a low car style throttle. Of course, we mentioned the emergency brake. It has Enos wiring in it. It's nice. It has a uh, Dakota digital um, analog. So it's digital in format, but it has an analog feel and features to it. So it's very reliable as a tack, that kind of thing. Turn metal uh, column drop down here. AC vents on the side. It has air conditioning. Heat. Sun visors. Nice little beer, billet mirror. We're gonna fire it up here. I'll give you one more run. Again, this got a uh, lighted shifter. 19,216 at the time of inspection. The kind you can drive and proving itself. Hop in this one. Uh, oil pressure about 50 pounds. Fuel tank about half. Temperature 140 currently. It's just warmed up this morning. Bolts, we'll pick it up a little bit. There we go, 13 and a half so, 14. All the switches and control panels down underneath here. Easy access. Nice taut headlighter. Cover that for you, that's the seat belt dropping on the uh, running board. Again, all steel. There you go. Hey, hang on to the end of the video. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. All right, we'll get you in the engine compartment here. My favorite part, very nicely done on this car, like we talked about during the walk around. I know the history of this car. Underneath the hood here is a GM uh, 350, 330 horse crate motor. Very nicely dressed, billet dress, that type of thing. It has a uh, polished Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold on it. Has a uh, Edelbrock or Weber Carter AFB 600C FM carburetor on it. Has block header, ceramic coated block ho ho hugger headers here. I'll get it out this morning. It's getting my motor running. GM HEI distributor. Nice little wire separators here. It has a serpentine fan belt drive. As mentioned during the walk around and the undercarriage coming up, it has rack and pinion power steering on it, so the power steering pump is here. This is a reservoir for the power steering over and this here is the uh, coolant recovery reservoir. It has a uh, electric cooling fan on it. Car never overheats. He's had it under 108 degrees out in Temecula, that kind of thing. Um, I like the dress. It's nice and subtle and simple. Again, the serpentine belt drives a nice feature on these. 
get over here on this side you're kind of going to see the same thing here polished AC compressor there's a mechanical fuel pump right there the owners kept it all up to date it's fully serviced ready to go just under this kind of car you can drive like we talked about it has a 200 R4 automatic overdrive and then as mentioned it has a Corvette rear suspension the VIN numbers here on the frame, the AC lines run down and through there. It has low car style uh, dipstick tube for the tranny and the oil level here. We want you to hear it run and start it up there like we try and do. Kind of give you a feel. Nice and subtle, not overdone. Not going to rev it up because I don't want the hood sides to come down. Go back and let you hear it idle. Show you the rear trunk here. I'm going to have the owner open it up and uh, show us how it works. We've got uh, down here, there's a latch. What a neat deal on this one gives you extra storage room slides out away from the body and it opens up and you can put whatever you like in there luggage or cleaning equipment for the car show why don't you go ahead and show it shut it back down there if you would john he's going to slide it back in just like that uh cover the undercarriage for you very uh very drivable car nice driving car so if you're looking for one of these corvette suspension i would say late 60s corvette suspension we're going to kneel down here and kind of give you a good peek at it um again 19,000 miles on the build the act owner the uh, current owner actually went through and put all new u-joints in it so all four in the back here and the drive shaft itself too but uh, I'm going to guess that's late 60s Corvette suspension, so it's going to have four-wheel disc brakes on it. Very nicely installed in this fully box frame. It has uh, the exhaust exits here on the back, nice and low. These tires and wheels are about three years old. It has, uh, uh, these are powder coated, I probably covered this during the walk around, I'm going to do it again for you powder coated uh, aluminum wheels on it these in the rear I know the fronts uh, the, so they're 17's in the front and 17's in the rear 25 60 R17 nice Southern California hot rod you'll see all the ceramic coated exhaust this is all steel car again very nice Finding these with nice chassis and upgrades like this. It has uh, Scott's independent front suspension with uh, power rack and pinion steering. Front tires are 215-50R17. Again, powder coated aluminum wheels. Like the factory bumpers here. Kind of give you a feel. It has uh, fully independent IFS front suspension. It has a stabilizer bar. Alden adjustable coil over shocks in the front. Give you a little peek at the pinstriping there. Again, Alden coils over, rack and pinion power steering. Give us a call if you're looking for a car you can drive. This car will definitely do the trick. It's been the deuce, deuce days up in Canada. Like I said, we, knew the hist we know the history well on this car. We're glad the owner's had it about six years. We sold it to him. Again, repeating myself, I do these in different segments. Anyway. We think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com.